All right, today we're going to be looking at measuring your tread depth on your tires. We do that with these street type tires and these all terrain tires, this style over here. All you're going to need is a quarter and a penny, like you see right here. So, first, we're going to take a quarter and what we're measuring again from the tip of the head to the tip of the coin. This right here on George Washington from his head to the edge is about four thirty seconds of an inch, and that's pretty much about the point where you want to replace your tire. So if we stick it in right here, you can see that George Washington's head is covered up, so that means that we're good to go. Our tires are thicker and have more tread than 4 30 seconds of an inch. Next we're going to pull out our penny and we're going to do the same thing from the tip of Abe Lincoln's head to the tip of the coin is about 2 30 seconds of an inch. And we're just going to stick it down in there. And again, if you can see all of Abe Lincoln's head, that means replace your tires. 230 seconds is pretty much the legal minimum in most places. We slip it in here. We got plenty of room, plenty of time to go. These are relatively safe tires. If it was bald and you see all of the coin and all of the head, or if you saw no tread on your tires, tires are basically illegal, immediately replace those. Now we're going to come over here to the all-terrain tires. Obviously these are thicker. Uh, they're meant for more grip. And, and when you stick a coin in here, you can see that you're going to have plenty of room. Most of these tires have life until about 6, 30 seconds. That's when the company is going to tell you to start replacing it. And uh, here you can see we've got plenty of time and plenty of tread left on these tires right here. And again, all you need is a quarter and a penny. Quarter means you're all right, get them soon. Penny means get them now. Good luck.